Well, last week was Valentine's Day, and that means someone, somewhere, got engaged. But what happens to the ring if that proposal doesn't stick? Here with a new monthly segment called Straight to the Point from Edgar Snyder and Associates is Rob Fisher. And Rob, we're so happy to have you here today. Um, Good to be here. I'm sure all the kids are home today and you're still working. Got it. They okay. are They are watching. <laughs> I, wa okay, okay. Good. I walked out the door this morning and I wasn't thinking about this, thought it would be great. And my seven-year-old daughter goes, is this live TV? I'm like, yes, it is. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I thought about the whole car ride. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden, then it's set in. Well, yes. let's talk about <laughs> Valentine's Day in particular. A yes. lot of people use it as a great holiday to pop the big question. So what happens if shortly thereafter the engagement ends and you've given that ring, can you get it back? So um, urban legend is if you give a engagement ring on a holiday, it's, it's gone forever, it's a gift. And in some states that might be true. But at Eggerstein and Associates, we decided to look it up. So it's not entirely true. Engagement rings are considered conditional gifts. So if you propose and actually propose, the ring isn't the person you propose to until you actually complete the marriage. So it's like most a of the time. A condition. Yes. Like right. you have to fulfill said obligation of marriage. Sure, but <laughs> sort of. So if I just throw the ring to you and say, hey, here's a ring, and then two weeks later say, hey, let's get married. It's a gift. That, okay. Oh. So there's a, there's a couple of There's caveats. like an implied contract with the presentation of the ring. But Are only you a if. if you, well, no, it. I yeah. plan on lear learning from you, Rob. Yes. Only <laughs> if, though, you ask the right question Will you marry me? Right. Then okay. it is a condition. Yes, it right. is a condition. One other new, we again, looking this up, one other yeah. new rule or law is that if you're also still married and you try to be engaged to somebody else, it's just a gift. <gasps> That's oh, new as of 2023. Oh, so that's still, a really so good like thing. So like if you're in the process of getting a divorce, yep. but still technically legally married, and you give a ring to somebody else, okay. Yeah. Right, what if you propose the day before Valentine's Day, February 13th? Does it matter? Still, still applies that way. Yep, still okay. good. I always thought holidays were don't ever propose on a holiday. It seems like that's okay to do. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's talk about pets because sometimes pets can be given as gifts as well. We know this happens on the holidays or just because. Uh, but how does that happen if the relationship ends? Who gets the, the dog, the cat, the hamster? So, so it's funny with pets. It's, it's very near and dear to everybody's heart, right? Yeah. And pets are the equivalent of a, let's use a lamp, right? They're, they're personal property. Right. So there, there's even a case, I think we send it over, that says, you know, if you give a lamp to somebody, you can't get the lamp back, it's a gift. A dog is considered the same thing. There's no custody agreements, there's no, hey, can we share the dog on Saturdays? Right. It is property, it's a watch, it's a lamp, so if you give a dog or a cat or a turtle, then it's that it's person. If you give it to the other person, but if you give it to like both yourself and the other person, it gets more complicated or no? Well, as long as you're not, if you're married, then it's, Fine. More complicated, but if it's if you're not married, then it's it's a gift. Oh, yeah, if right. I give you a puppy really? tomorrow, it's all yours. Right, right. Okay. Get it back. So okay. let's just say it's just a couple, no marriage. You go out together to purchase a dog. Mm -hmm. Then what happens if the relationship ends? Ooh, Who gets it? That's a tough question. I don't know. Like, oh. I don't think I have that answer for you. It depends. If it's a gift, though, it's, it's, it's right. a gift. Here, yes. Here's what I would say. If it was my future wife's idea to get the dog and we got the dog and it didn't work out. I'm guessing I'm not getting that dog. Back. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. All right, what if what if you're really gonna give a big gift like a car? Oh my gosh. You know the, the commercials at Christmas time. They're I like, know, where there's a big bow and like who who does if that? Really Somebody does them, it, I guess. You'll get them a Range Rover for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> again, it depends on how you give it. If yeah. you give somebody money and they go get the car, it's that person's car. If you give them the car and you still hold the title, you probably can get the car back. So if you buy the car yourself and you put, like your name is on the title, and then you give it to someone, that's your out. That's how you could get it back. Yes, you have okay. to fight for it, but possibly you could get it back. Right. Yes. Sometimes. But if you give someone the cash and say, here honey, go buy a car, Oh, totally done. Bye I don't bye know car. If, I'm, if somebody gives me that kind of money, cars are expensive nowadays. <laughs> if somebody gives me that kind of money, I don't know that I'm getting the car. Right. I think I'll take the bus and use the cash. <laughs> use the cash for something yeah. else. Cash is yours, um, though. La <laughs> last uh, uh, is a vacation. Let's say you book a trip together mm -hmm. and the relationship ends. What happens to said trip? Buy insurance. 
Okay. That's all my advice I could give is. So yeah. really, that would cover it? Like I would think yeah. so, yeah. Otherwise, are you both going on the trip and staying in separate rooms, Ooh, right? That's that makes it interesting. They're probably your only two options. <laughs> oh, that sounds like yeah. a TV movie of the week. Yeah, I know. Yeah, forced to take weeks. vacation together, yeah. Oh, that could be a reality show. It could, I, I, <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it's probably next season on CBS, yeah. Uh, I like thank it. Thank you so much for coming on. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for having That's me. Interesting yeah. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, I learned a thing or two. All right, Rob Fisher from Edgar Snyder and Associates. Thank you as always. And we're going to get straight to the point each month here on PTL in March. We're talking about the ins and outs of betting just in time for those March Madness brackets. And if you want to stick around, we have tons of breakfast. I'm in. We feed you today. Yeah, I don't, I All right. Yeah. Guarantee it in March. But today, there's food.